Welcome. So what I have is negative x is greater than 1 and 1 half. And what I want to do is solve this by graphing it. So the main important thing is we need to isolate the variable. And when doing this, that comes up to an important uh, property of an inequality. And I'll get to that in just a second. So um, to solve this, we obviously know we have to solve for x. So if I have negative x greater than 1 and 1 half, to solve, I need to get rid of this negative sign. So I'm going to divide by negative 1. Now, Usually with equations, we didn't have to deal with an inequality sign. So we would just think that it'd be, oh, negative 1 and 1 half. And then we'd have to solve that. But let's go and make sure that this is true. Because remember, whatever I do on one side, as long as I do it on the other, it still should be true, right? Because if I said, let's say I had um, you know, x equaled uh, negative 3, right? So if x equals negative 3, I could also divide by negative 1 and say negative x equals 3, right? And that's exactly the same thing. However, it doesn't work that exact same way for inequalities. And I'll show you why. Let's just kind of take a, let's do an example with purple. Purple will be wrong on this one. So let's say I have, let's just do some easy numbers. Let's pretend I have x is greater than negative 1. So all numbers greater than negative 1, so we go to negative 1. All numbers that are greater than negative 1 will look something like this. Right? But what about if I now said divide by negative 1. And now I said the opposite of x right, is now greater than positive 1. So now you could say that numbers that are greater than 1 are now going to be in the positive, or I'm sorry, the negative, negative number. So let's put in some, uh, to, make, to make sense of this, so we know x is greater than negative 1. So what numbers are greater than negative 1? Let's make it easy. Let's do 0 is now greater than negative 1, right? But if now, if I rewrote this and said negative x is now greater than 1, what if I put 0 in for this? Negative 0 greater than 1, 0 is greater than 1. Is that still true? No. But all I did was I did the same operation. As long as you do the same operation, for equations it's true. But for inequalities, we can't apply the same operation with division and subtraction, or I'm sorry, division and multiplication of a negative number. When we divide by a negative number or multiply by a negative number, we have to swap the signs. So going back to my equation, x is greater than negative 1. You plug 0 in for that, that's true. To make this true, you have to, when you divide by negative 1, you have to now flip the sign. So if I was to just do that and flip the sign, when I plug this in for a 0, this now is also true. So to keep the inequality true, whenever we multiply or divide by a negative number, we have to make sure we flip the sign. So therefore, that is not true. But now x has to be less than negative 1 and 1 half. All right, now we can convert that to a whole number or to an improper fraction if we like. But I'm going to kind of leave it as a as a mixed number to help us graph. So let's go back to our problem. And in this example, we now have x is less than 1 and 1 half. So let's go to negative 1. And then 1 half would be halfway over to negative 2. So we're going to have a point right here. right? And what I like to do is once I pick my point, or wherever my point is going to be, I want to pick three test points. I want to pick a test point to the left. So negative 3 is less than negative 1 and 1 half. I want to pick a test point right at it. So negative 1 and 1 half is less than negative 1 and 1 half. And I want to pick a point to the right, which would be 0 is less than negative 1 and 1 half. And then we just go through and determine what is true and what is false. So is negative 3 less than negative 1 and 1 half? Of course, if you owe somebody $3, that's owing them a lot less than owing them $1.50, right? Or a dollar and a half a dollar. So that is true. Is negative 1 and 1 half? Less than negative 1 and 1 half? No, that's false because those two are equal to each other. right? And if you don't owe anybody any money, is that having less money than owing somebody uh, negative 1 and 1 half? No. So that is going to be false. So when we point, when the point that I'm picking is false, that means I'm going to have an open circle. But since it's true at negative 3 and false at 0, I shade now towards where it's true. So my final answer is going to be an open circle at negative 1 and 1 half, and then shading to the left. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.